Coyotes. We have a spectacular show for planned for you today. It consists of Lucas taking you to Rocket Fizz Candy Shop. Belle giving us the inside scoop on a Bye Bye Birdie. An episode of Science with Sean. And much more. I'm Gray Hatter. And I'm Troy Howerton. And CMS TV starts now. The new high school is located at the intercept of College Boulevard and Cannon Road. It's across the street of the foothills, the new house complex. Right now, it is currently under construction. Originally, they expected to have the campus finished in 2011, but work was delayed because of environmental concerns. The high school will focus on science, math, technology, and engineering. They do not have a mascot at this moment, so we wanted to see what you guys wanted the mascot to be. We also wanted to see what high school you wanted to go to, and Sage Creek was not as popular. What do you think the mascot should be for the new high school? The mighty butterfly. Bunny. A donkey. An alpaca, because they spit. Donkey. Are you going to the new high school? Back in 40. Probably not. No. This is Brendan Siriani. now back to the anchors. What is I mean, Pop, for weekly gaming news. Anyway, Battlefield 3 sells over 5 million copies in the first week. Eva's best-selling game, even t when Model of Honor took 4 months to reach the same goal. Battle Warfare, in other gaming news, came out last week. Looks good to me. I don't know about you. New games. 1118, 11. Minecraft. That's a big one for a lot of kids here. 112011, Legend of Zelda, The Skyward Sword's coming out. It looks amazing to me. I don't know about you guys. Probably going to be best one in the series. Also coming out in 12, 2011, Star Wars The Old Republic. That's going to be really cool. Anyway. Anywho, in other gaming news, actually not really other gaming news, Saints Row the Third came out a few days ago. Looks really cool to me. I don't know about you. Skyrim came out on the 11th of last week, and it is amazing. I'm level 10, and I would recommend it for anyone who likes the RPG genre. We interviewed some students and teachers about chewing gum at school. Do you think we should be allowed to chew gum at school? Yeah, we should, because it is like proven to help us do better in our tests. Chewing in gum, and when I put my hands under like a table or a desk, gum will get like stick to my hand. Yeah, I think so, because it it'll help some other people like think hard better. Yeah, we should have gum. It's good, and because like you should like let us try, and then if there's like a problem with it, then you can like confiscate it. But like, as long as we're not doing anything wrong. Um, what could you do wrong with gum? It's in your mouth. Like, unless you put it under a table. Or someone steps on it, because I hate that. Don't you guys hate it? it it's a catch-22. Do I really care if you chew gum? Not at all. The problem is, if you run your hand under probably 50% of the desk in a classroom, you'll find gum stuck there. So we know kids are chewing gum and you don't dispose of it. If you would dispose of it properly, we'd be good to go. Hey Coyotes, this is Belle Flanagan and welcome to another Name That Song. This week, cartoon theme songs. Try to guess these popular cartoon jingles. If you guess the opening song of Gravity Falls, then you are correct. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? If you thought this was the well-known SpongeBob SquarePants theme song, then you are right. If you guessed the opening credits from the Fairly Odd Parents, then you are correct. Where are you? We got some work to do now. 
you thought that this song was the iconic Scooby-Doo theme, then you are correct. If you guessed the theme from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, then you are correct. If you guessed the Smurfs theme song, then you are correct. Thanks for tuning in, Coyotes. This is Belle Flanagan. Now back to the anchors. Hey, Coyotes. This is Davis, and I'm here to bring you an important message from the Calibre Scott Talent crew. Davin... Kylie and Gray. Oh, oh, we're on? Yes. Oh. Coyote's Got Talent is a fun-filled competition where you guys show us your talents. I think you should really join Coyote's Got Talent because you can really put yourself out there, show them your talents, and it's really fun. If you are interested in signing up for Coyote's Got Talent, meet us here in the broadcasting studio on Tuesday during lunch. Thank you. We hope to see you there, Coyotes. Stay classy. Good luck. Coyotes. Bye. Prepare yourself. Have you ever dropped your Oreo in your milk and got it all soggy? Well, just use a fork. Take your fork and push it into the Oreo filling. Then there, no mess, and a milk Oreo cookie. Don't you hate when you spill your popcorn all over yourself? Well, just flip your hoodie around and pour the popcorn in the hoodie. There, you have a no mess, no hands popcorn holder. When you get pizza, you don't want the pizza to be cold when you get to your house, right? Just put the pizza on the passenger seat and turn on the seat warmer. There, your pizza will stay warm the whole car ride. Hey Coyotes, I'm Maddie Ward and I'm here with Josh Darnett and David Lopez. So I have a few questions for them. So when did you guys first start making vines? Um, it's been like, when did vine come out? Three years ago? It was January 24th. Uh, I think it was 2013. February, February 7th. 314 at about 3.41 p.m. That's my first bite. Okay. It was way before that. Okay. <laughs> 2.41 p.m. I started on day one. Uh, yeah. The first day of August. That's hard anyways. But I wasn't He's popular. Better than me. No, I was not. He's better than me. So what is your favorite part of being a it's, it's just fun to make, like, being creative. Just trying to be funny and stuff. It's, it's, um, it's fun to be able to kind of do what you want with your days and just you know, make sure that you're creating something at some point. Otherwise, and you're just a lazy casualty. So. <laughs> what opportunities have being a Viner created for you? Um, well, I guess one of the cool opportunities I had was I actually auditioned for a Marvel movie once. I didn't get it, obviously, but it was cool auditioning for a movie. And then now I'm in talks with Saturday Night Live. That's actually pretty cool, too. And I get to meet Josh Dornan. Um, so I guess one of the coolest things I've gotten to do was um, we got to do some promo work for Disney World, and they were opening a new roller coaster, and we got to be one of the first people that rode it. It was a blast. So once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime. So what advice do you have for someone who wants to start making vines? Be funny. That's it. Just be funny. Just be funny. Or you could be good looking like Cameron Dallas. That's hard to achieve. I never achieved that level of good luckiness. Original. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome so much. Well, that's it for this time, Coyotes. Now back to the anchors.